More positive cases of COVID-19 reported in the Sunshine State. Florida has surpassed 85,000 cases and surpassing 3,000 deaths. Jacksonville's cases went up another 115. That's a new record, bringing the total to 2,309. Yesterday's positivity rate was 5.7%. Although coronavirus cases are spiking across the country, experts say Florida has the makings of the next epicenter. That warning coming from project projections from a model by scientists at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia and the University of Pennsylvania. Florida was one of 10 states that saw a record number of new COVID-19 cases this week. According to the model, Florida has, <clears throat> quote, all the makings of the next large epicenter of coronavirus transmission and risks being the worst it has ever been. Well, the coronavirus hit rural hospitals across the country hard, including Ed Frazier Memorial Hospital in Baker County. But the hospital did not get $1 million in federal stimulus money that other hospitals got. News for Jax's Kristen Cosby went to McClenny to find out why. Ed Frazier Memorial Hospital tested community members for coronavirus today, the same virus that hurt their viability. In March and April, the hospital shut down everything except for its emergency room and nursing home. Business dropped 60%. Rural hospitals are the backbone of healthcare for so much of the, of the land mass of, of the United States. Uh, it's local people caring for local people, and uh, it's critical that they're able to get as much care, care as close to home as possible. This financial crisis hit rural hospitals across the country, but many received funding from the federal CARES Act. CARES gave $100 billion to rural hospitals. Each one got about a million dollars. Ed Frazier didn't receive any of that funding. According to the Florida Department of Transportation, Baker County here is considered a rural county because there are less than 100 people per square mile. And as you can see, this neighborhood is what backs right up to its local hospital. However, because it's close to Jacksonville, they did not receive this funding. Jacksonville St. Vincent's Riverside Hospital sits about 30 miles from Ed Frazier. That costs a small facility the federal funding it needs to survive. The hospital is the third largest employer in Baker County and a much needed resource to one of the counties with the lowest income average in the state. This is the CT that I was just talking to you about. Thursday, Representative Al Lawson toured Ed Frazier and talked with hospital officials about how to get them the needed funding. We want them to be able to survive, be able to treat more people and, uh, and uh, uh, have resources that every other hospital have. Lawson said he wants to amend the $3 billion stimulus package before the Senate right now to include funding for Ed Frazier and other hospitals in similar situations. Reporting in McClenny, Kristen Cosby, Channel 4, the local station. Florida has a total of 12,577 hospitalizations because of COVID-19. And of course, there's a lot of attention on how many available beds there are in ICU units. Well, coming up at 6, News for Jacks reporter Joe McLean will break down those numbers for our local counties. He's got the very latest information on that.